All right, <clears throat> we got some Saturday morning ribeyes here. Just cut up this rib roast. Nice fat in there. Stuff was on sale, so I cut the ribs off of it. Those are nice, really fatty. Sliced it into one, two, three, four steaks. Salt these up. I'm starting to eat a little more in the mornings now. I feel like that sets me up for a good day. So went for a walk. It's like 10 now, I think, but salt up a couple of these. Sear them really, really friggin' hot. On the outside, I like them pretty much rare on the inside, and then we will, uh, we'll eat them. So let's, uh, let's grab some salt. Salt these guys up good. This is the pink Himalayan salt. It's the stuff I like. <clears throat> good amount of salt on those. Flip them over. This is kind of a thinner roast. They're a little <clears throat> thinner, but, uh, I cut them pretty thick. I cut them at least an inch thick, so it should be good. Lots of salt is key. And I usually let them sit for like, try to let them sit for at least five, ten minutes. Let the salt soak in there. There we go. I won't salt these guys yet. I'll probably cook these guys up later. But uh, let them sit. We'll get a pan super hot. Got my beef tallow that I whipped up a couple days ago. We'll throw that in there and we're good to go. Quick note, I've experimented before eating later in the day versus earlier in the day. And usually, uh, just because of my schedule, like it's easier to wait the food later into the day. It's easier to, uh, you know, especially if you drink coffee or something, it's easier to wait to the end. But I find that actually probably feel better if I can start eating earlier in the day to get that fat and protein into you like sooner. Um, it sets you up for like just feeling better, feeling uh, more stable, feeling more like full, just feeling more energy, which um, contrast with like a coffee. Um, and I actually stopped drinking coffee in the mornings. Now I'm doing a yerba mate tea. I'll talk more about that another time. But basically, uh, if you can get, you know, food and fat into you as opposed to coffee, instead of having that sort of caffeine energy, and you know that sort of fasted state, which can be good. Uh, you've got that kind of full, satiated, um, that fat feeling. You know that fat in your brain. Um, anyways, I'm gonna see if I can stick to that for a little bit here. But we're off to a good start today. Yesterday was Good Friday, so that's like a fast day. It was kind of a tough day. I had some salmon, and then I had some egg yolks because I wasn't doing meat. But um, pretty much back on the lion diet here now, just doing mostly ruminant meat and I just want to get feeling really good. So, um, yeah, just a quick note on that. All these are salting up. It's worth testing out waiting your meals earlier in the day and then almost, um, <clears throat> almost being ahead of hunger. Like you want to be hungry, but like, uh, I feel like if you're eating later, sometimes you're catching up on hunger, you're catching up on what your body needs. Whereas if you just psh, hit it with a fatty steak, you know, right out of the gate, then, <laughs> you're good to go, you're fueled, you're, you're satiated, your brain feels good. And then, um, then you're not like thinking, Oh, when I need that first meal or when am I going to do it? Or can I get to it? And then work comes up and then it's like two hours later and then you're hungry and kind of mad, whatever. Usually fasting is like way easier, right? It's way easier with carnivore, but, um, still, I think that can be a factor. So I think weight, I think getting your food early in the day can be a can be a good tool. I know tons of people talk about fasting. Fasting is awesome, but uh, if you just get in what you need, you know, a little ahead ahead of the game, I think uh, I think you end up fasting just as much anyways, and you'll wait your food earlier in the day and less later in the day. So there's my little spiel on spiel on that. But yeah, just test it out and uh, see what you think. Got our pan heating up here. <clears throat> Got our tallow. It's a nice white color. A nice tallow to get that nice uh <clears throat> gonna get that nice sear going here get some of that in there let that heat up yeah that's getting hot you can see the towel almost smoking there so one and two. So I do about two minutes aside. I like them pretty raw inside. 
and uh, just a nice thick sear on the outside and then uh, that's kind of gives it some texture but basically still red still red on the inside uh, I didn't actually have the camera rolling but I just flipped these guys so we missed that but got a good sear on there I was just saying that's probably like just over a pound, maybe a pound and a quarter, I think, of meat. And I don't think I'll have any trouble putting that back in one sitting, but we will see. Hot seared ribeye, that's pretty good. Like I was just thinking about what steaks I like best. Um, honestly, I like them all, I like all the steaks, but like you get a nice ribeye that the fats you know, nicely dispersed, and you get it seared on both sides, rare in the middle. That's that's kind of as good as it gets, I'd say. Although lamb, I do love lamb as well, so. There's that. These guys are almost done. Grab a plate, plate these guys up. Alrighty, these guys are done. Got a nice sear on both sides. They're probably still rare on the inside. We will see though and you're supposed to let them rest. I usually let them rest. If I'm starving, I don't let them rest, but I let them rest for a few minutes at least for what it's worth. Um, that's still pretty rare. See how that pushes in? That's, uh, yeah, that means it's still pretty rare, so you should be good. Yeah, so we still got some pretty good rareness. That's like pretty much perfect. Let's, uh, yeah, that's pretty much perfect. Second last bite here. It's like the perfect amount of fullness. One bite left. I'm full. About a good amount. I believe that's what they call eating to satiety. That's a word that people love in the uh, carnivore community. It's a word that bugs some people too. Satiety. Or <laughs> satiating. Um, but I think it's an accurate word. So that's definitely how you feel after pounds and a quarter, pounds and a half of ribeye. Some sparkling water. Um... You feel um, you feel satiated and you feel kind of stable, so that's why I think it can be beneficial to start earlier in the day with some of your eating and uh, carry that nutrients, carry that satisfaction uh, into your day and uh, into whatever tasks you need to do. But there it is. There's a lion diet breakfast, lion diet breakfast of champions, and. Uh, let me know in the comments when you eat your food or uh, how you like to fast or if you fast at all. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.